Steve to you. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Mallory Brooks. We begin tonight in West Memphis, where three officers have been relieved of duty after a deadly shooting this morning. State police are now investigating. The shooting broke out after a call coming in saying two people were forcing a man into the trunk of a car during a robbery in Memphis. Police say they drove to West Memphis after being stopped by police. The driver was caught and the passenger was shot and killed by officers. For more on how this all went down and what's next in the investigation, we turn to Stacy Jacobson. Flashing blue lights flooded Interstate 40 early New Year's Eve morning. Authorities say they had to shut down the Hernando de Soto Bridge to deal with a catastrophic and deadly chase. It really affected those truck drivers, man. We got places to be at a particular time. Memphis police say it all started here, near the intersection of Avalon and Court in Midtown. That's where they got a call around midnight about two people robbing and kidnapping a 61-year-old man by locking him in the trunk. He just preyed on an elderly person. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Police say they quickly caught up with the white Honda a couple blocks away near Madison and Cleveland. But the suspects took off, leading police all the way across state lines on Interstate 40 into Arkansas. Memphis police say that's when they called in Arkansas State Police. And both agencies continued the pursuit, following the suspect's car as it got off at the first exit and then turned around, continuing on I-40 back toward Memphis. Eventually, state police say they cornered the vehicle and took the driver into custody. But the passenger got away, even jumping a concrete barrier. Police say that's when the suspect was shot and killed during what they call an encounter. People who live in the neighborhood where it started are split over whether the officer should have fired. I don't think it's just fair, even for an officer to shoot somebody that's trying to flee. Because your life ain't in danger, they trying to get away. What you put out there, you're going to get back. So if you put something like that out in the universe, it's going to come back. Memphis police tell us two of their officers did fire their guns and three are on administrative leave. But we still don't know who fired the fatal shot. Officials say the 61-year-old kidnapping victim was treated for minor injuries and will be okay. And